What's up? How y'all doing? Welcome to the very first episode of Uber Success, where I'll be bringing you tips and tricks about everything Uber. You're watching this video because you want to know how did this guy make $3,000 in three weeks and how can you do the same? Well, I'm going to give you three big tips that you can use to help you basically make about $1,000 every week driving for Uber. Maximize your profit as well as other things that, you know, Uber probably doesn't want you to know. I'm going to spill the beans anyways. Why? Because it's important to know information. And if you're thinking about driving for Uber, you got to know all the facts, right? Just make sense tip number one and I start with this because it just has to be heard but if you don't know already making a thousand dollars a week with uber takes hard freaking work probably common sense now when I say work people can drive 20 hours a day and I could probably still make the same amount of money that they make in eight you need to have a plan first before you're gonna do anything right so if you want to make a thousand dollars a week or whatever amount of money you're trying to make you need to set up a plan but you got to be dedicated in your work it's really just a matter of okay I got to work hard now how do I work hard right what do I do so that I work hard but I'm not killing myself which brings me to tip number two which is to strategize when I first started all I did was map out okay how much do I want to make a week and then you divvy that up. So say you want to make $1,000 a week. There's seven days in a week, right? Divide that by the thousand, that's, uh, what is that? So you gotta make on average about $140 a day. Now that you know that, how many hours per day do you gotta work? Well, Uber advertises that you make about 15 to 25 bucks per hour. Lies! Nah. Let me clarify, there are some instances where you will make about 15 to 25 hours, but on average, you're gonna make about 12 to 13 dollars an hour so just to be on the safe side if you're making 12 to 13 dollars an hour you have to work roughly about 11 hours and now that's every single day that's kind of a lot 11 12 hours if you are about that life go out there and drive for 12 hours a day but i'm not about that life what did i do to be able to cover up this difference you have to drive at the correct time if you just drive willy-nilly all day you will make 140 dollars but you'll drive 12 to 13 hours doing it so in my experience and i can't speak for everybody the best time to drive is between 6 to 9 a.m some people start at 5 which is great to be honest, you know, not a lot of people are up at 5 and it's hard to get up at 5. So 6 to 9 is a pretty good time. That's during the rush hour where you're going to get the most drives and you're going to get things like airport rides, people going into work. Once it hit about 10, 11 o'clock, it slows down a little bit. But I still recommend driving during those hours because it's still morning. People are running late to work and those are the people that are desperate. I'm assuming this from Philadelphia. I got a major city that's kind of on my side, which tends to help if you're driving for any type of ride share company. Now, the next time Uber recommends that you drive is during the afternoon shower I do not recommend this don't well you do whatever you want I'm not here to tell you what you can't do but I don't recommend this because I tried this a couple of times and you will spend more time in traffic and being mad at other people cutting you off than you will actually making money maybe towards the evening okay that's so that's a little bit better but the afternoon rush hour avoid that every other uber driver is thinking the same thing and you don't want to be every other uber driver you want to be smart about this man make a plan and strategize so what time do i recommend driving at night the reason why nights are so perfect is because people are getting off work people are going to their booze cribs or whatever like people are still traveling and need assistance getting from point a to point b at all times during the day and the best time is at night because there's no traffic there's no traffic and there are less uber drivers out at night monday through thursday are golden times get out there so the way we want to structure this is if you work from six to 10 12 during the morning you're gonna make about a hundred dollars at least if you're not making a hundred dollars you know you're driving in the wrong areas you know but you got to make about a hundred dollars and then at night say from like 9 to 11 9 to 12 you make up the remaining difference. You have the whole rest of the middle part of your day to do whatever you want to do. My third and final tip is to keep costs at a minimal. And what's your most expensive cost when you're driving a car? It's gas. You want to keep your gas consumption at a low. Pull over to the side, find a parking lot. You want to turn off your car, right? Don't keep your car running. Now, if you don't get another alert within the next five, I say 10 minutes. Give it, give it some time. If you don't get an alert, then I suggest, all right, driving around a little bit, switching your location up because obviously you're not in a hot spot. This will help you save on a ton of gas. And the more gas you save, the more money is going to be in your pocket. Hope you got some value from this video. If you liked it, leave a comment down below. Let me know some of your tips to be successful driving for Uber. And I'll catch you guys on the next video.